Hey, what's up you guys? This is MC Leomoy. I just want to say first that I now have all of Series 1 of the Micro Fighters, and the way that we're going to review these are two at a time. So we are going to review both of these together, both of these together, and both of these together, basing it all just off of the box art, since these uh, sets, they all kind of go together with their box art. So, And that just kind of means that I'm not going to be spending six weeks on Micro Fighters. I mean, these sets, I'm, I'm not expecting them to be super fantastic and everything, but, you know, I, I just I don't want to spend six weeks reviewing all of these guys when I don't have to. Um... And yes, that does mean that we are going over the X-Wing again. So, yes. Now we'll get on to this week's current review. Hey, what's up you guys? It's MCA Legabo here with 75032 and 75033 X-Wing Fighter and Star Destroyer. And they are the same number of pieces. Uh, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, um, the last in our Micro Fighter series, and I know, I'm sorry you guys, but I am re-reviewing this, okay, so, get off my back. Now, I mean, I don't really see a problem with that, seeing as how we're doing reviews now and stuff like that. Um, yeah, at least with, with these types of sets. So, yeah, as you can see, I mean, this box... It's the same set. I mean, no reason in trying to get a duplicate. That's ridiculous. So, yeah. And again, I mean, like, not a whole lot to see. Flick fire missiles, minifigures. Some some cool-looking ships and stuff like that. So, yeah, let, let, let's get around to it. So, if you guys are curious as to how I got this box to somewhat open the way, like, I intended. Not really. That's actually, like, the worst example as to how you should be opening up Lego boxes, but first, because the, these punch tab things, they're, they're just awful. So you shake it down like that, and you start from one end, and just slowly work your way. Um, I, I would say definitely try to push down, like you don't, you want to try and just cut a glue and not start cutting into the box like I did. If that starts happening, start from the other side. All right, so you got that done. Then just cut right there. And remember, kids, do not play with knives. They are serious business. If you cannot handle a knife or don't know where to even get one, find yourself a responsible a responsible adult to do this for you because destroying your box is not fun and if you try and do it the way I did but you don't know how to handle a knife you're gonna get all bloody and being all bloody is something I don't want you guys to to have happen to yourself so but yeah that's how you open up these boxes again I mean pieces pieces not much to talk about, so let's actually get to a review. All right, so of the two, I've built this thing like three times now. <laughs> um, both are 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 good builds. I think this was more interesting only because of the um the use of the snot style building with the uh, studs not on top style building. It's just it's it's more interesting. It's fun. Um, but yeah, going over this, which, I mean, I've already gone over, but still, if you guys haven't seen that video, then cool. We're going to talk about it. So, um, first off, pretend that there is a transparent cheese slope, a pink stud, a gray stud, and a one-by-one, one, uh, uh, round, uh, brick, uh, not brick, plate with a hole also known as the Apollo stud um, other than that I can't think of anything else all right so here's a minifigure for you guys um absolutely crazy looking and I love it all that detail it's insane and he comes with a double-sided face where he's like freaking out so totally cool 
um, and backsided printing. I mean, it's just all out. It's crazy, and it looks awesome. And then you also come with a um, an astromech droid head. Um, people have always kind of been like, eh, well, he comes with the droid head, where's the rest of the body? Come on. Um, some sets, they, they include that, but for something as small as this, I don't think they would do that. Only because, uh, well, then you get two minifigures, and that doesn't seem fair, because there's only one minifigure and all the others, and I, I really don't care. <laughs> you, you can always add it to the body of, um, of R4P44. Looks pretty good. So, yeah. Um, and then the chibiness on this, this is definitely, like, pretty much on par with the AAT in terms of chibi factor. Like, it works. It really works. And maybe it's because I've had a few months to let it grow on me and, you know, I, I've seen it more than all the other sets, but still. Um, and then you've got the uh, Star Destroyer. Oh, yep. There we go. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the way that this thing is put together. And people with their ATVs outside, stop it. Just like stupid people with their ATVs. They drive up and down the street being all loud and noisy. So, yes. And then we've got um, an Imperial officer dude. Or an Imperial pilot. What is he? He's an Imperial crew. So yeah, all black, got the nice little uh, headset thing going on. Here they come again with those stupid ATVs. All right. Um, so yeah, some back printing. A lot of crazy detail with the back printing. I mean, there's like weird wrinkles in there that don't absolutely need to be in there. But now that we have them, cool. I mean, that's something that you would definitely have not seen at all in 1999 when we first got Star Wars Lego sets. So, yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, just the, the way that this thing's put together, it's awesome. And y you take uh, this one section off. Holy crap, man, that's loud. Um, and, I mean, I could take stuff off and I can just rip the set apart for those, uh, for those slopes. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, you people are so annoying. With ATVs. I understand it's a new toy, they don't play with it, but at the same time. Exactly, see what he just said. So, yeah. Um, and then, I mean, really, there's not a lot to this thing. I, it works. Um, it's not as chibi as the others. It's a little short. So that kind of counts as a chibi factor. I mean, you're trying to chibify a wedge. It's It's not very easily done. In my opinion, I've never tried, but it certainly is better than what I could probably come up with. So, And um, another thing to note, this is the one that doesn't have uh, like a windscreen section. All the others kind of came with a windscreen, except for the Star Destroyer. So, But yeah, I mean, like that's really the bulk of it. I mean, there's not a lot of talk about with these guys. And again, Flick Fire Missiles works perfectly fine with where they are, so I'm cool with them. And given the type of set that it is, Flick Fire Missiles, they don't bother me. So I'm cool with that. And like same, with the X-Wing, same thing. You got four of these guys too, which I mean, like th this, uh, that piece, this piece right here. That, that's the reason why I even got this set to begin with in the first place. And then it forced me to get all the others. But now I'm kind of glad that I've got all the others because I'm going to find like something to build one day. And I'm just going to have like a, a day, just like have the most fun day ever ripping a set, uh, all of these sets apart. And just going nuts and losing pieces and stuff like that. So, <laughs> But yeah, that, that does it for our our micro fighter series so yeah this has been mc lego boy with uh 75032 x-wing and 75033 imperial star destroyer see you guys